Hey Pisces and Pisces lovers and friends. Welcome back, y'all. So, this is going to be a general reading for Pisces dealing with an Aries, okay? Because I've been noticing a lot of stuff in the comment section. And, um, yeah, I want to see what's really going on, y'all. What's happening with y'all in Aries, okay? So this is going to be a general reading. It may resonate. It may not. All right. So let's go ahead and see what's, what's going on. Ooh, something flipped over. So the first thing we have here is the Eight of Pentacles. And we also have the Ten of Cups and the Four of Swords in reverse. And let's get two more for what's going on with Pisces and Aries. Okay, wow. So we have the Ten of Wands in reverse and the Nine of Wands in reverse. All right, so all the signs are here. All right, so Pisces, with this Eight of Pentacles here, I feel like maybe um, you are this person are a little too preoccupied with works to focus on a relationship or building a strong foundation right now. Um, it could be due to the state of the world, okay? Maybe right now is just not the best time for you or them to try to uphold a commitment. Um, I think, you know, it's really bothering one of you, um, because maybe you have the time perhaps to actually um, be in something committed and long term, but they don't right now, okay? Um, I feel like I, I don't get that this person doesn't want to have this with you. I just feel like work is the focus right now because with the Ten of Wands, wands here, you know, I feel like, especially with this being their energy, that they want to really kind of let go of the burden of work, okay? Try to reduce their workload. They want to be able to try to make more time to share with you because I feel like since they're so busy with that, it leaves you thinking that, um, they don't want anything to do with you at all. Okay. I feel like your guard is down and, and you're open and the, the same is true for them, but it looks like work is taking up their time. I'm also getting too that if it's, um, if it's not work, whether you know it or not, it could be Pisces that they are trying to get out of another relationship or they could be getting a divorce okay um that's for some of you whether you are aware of that or not because i feel like they <laughs> they're ready for something else you know uh mentally uh and emotionally it's like their heart longs for something else especially if they're going through a divorce but they're preoccupied with taking care of that so everything is fine the ten of swords oh pisces whether you know it or not it's like this this aries um between work and between work and maybe trying to deal with either coping with a past relationship or going through a, a divorce, 
they are in a lot of pain. But I also get too that you are as well. Okay, with this Four of Swords being here too, it's like you're trying to figure things out, trying to make sense of maybe their silence or their delayed responses. Also getting to that, you know, this person does have interest in you, but when they think about being in a committed relationship or um, progressing a relationship from one level to the next, it kind of stresses them out a little bit, okay? Like they have these fears, they have a lot of anxiety surrounding being able to like trust someone in a uh, relationship, So we have here again the three of pentacles, right? So this person definitely is very uh, preoccupied with work and other affairs right now, okay? Um, and then also too, with it being under that ten of cups, it does make me think like, yes, they some of them are um, dealing with someone else, not necessarily romantically, but like in the sense that oh, they're going on dates with this person or something, I feel more like they're trying to, um, they're trying to get out of it. Okay. Somebody could also want them back as well. Somebody might want to work something out with them. Yes. The magician. Okay. So I feel like Somebody is putting a lot of time and energy into trying to be with this person as well. Okay, maybe you're aware of it um, already. And I'm also getting to that you um, you're trying to figure out how to make this work as well. You have the temperance here. So, I feel like this person does want to have something with you and for there to be some type of balance between the two of you. I truly do. Because I'm getting with them that even though they are scared, they do feel like you could be their match or that person who could balance things out where you could have something harmonious with them or they could have something harmonious with you. So we got the Ace of Wands in reverse. I'm getting to that, you know, this person... Um, They, with you especially, right, they want something, um, they do want something for real. Because I get that they don't want this to just be about sex. So if you feel like a sense of distance from them, Pisces, it's really because they're waiting for other things to kind of slow down and be resolved um, before they can really progress the connection. So we got the lovers there in reverse. Let's see what else. Oh, wait, that's too many. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> So with the lovers here in reverse, yeah, I, I do feel like, you know, they have a decision to make, but it's like, it has more to do with this right here, okay? Um, 
they they do want you but right now is just not the best time because of everything else that they're dealing with and everything else that um, their time and attention calls for and here again this is whether you are aware of it or not okay because even though you like them and feel connected to them um, you know that doesn't automatically mean that they're gonna feel comfortable with confiding in you okay about um, their past and whatever else it is that they're dealing with. So I feel like right now, you know, this this person likes you and has the desire, you know, to to be with you, but they're really trying to balance some things out in their in their life right now. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. Way too many. Hold it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Well, let's just go ahead and take this one. So we have the third chakra card here. Archangel Chamuel. And what else? Spirit. What else for Pisces and this Aries? Wow, the temple path. Yeah, it seems like every card that is coming out that would lead to um, building something meaningful, loving, and genuine is in reverse, okay? So I really feel like this person with you know the temple path in reverse here too, it's just really like so many things are, are on hold for them and they're really trying to rebuild, revise and refocus. So even though you might like them where they are right now, Pisces, um, I don't even think it would be in your best interest to, even if they wanted to, um, move forward with them right now. Okay, <clears throat> because I feel I, I, I feel like they are lacking a clear sense of direction. Okay, and uh, and they definitely need the assistance of spirit to help them with all of this other stuff before they can even try to have something serious with you. Ooh. Okay, so we got this to these two. Wow, so, wow, dad, Pisces, right, like, I've been saying, I really feel like this person feels you, but just right now is not the right time, so, we have not just new love, but true love, too, embrace an opportunity for love in your work prospects, or for spiritual growth, and true love, this love is once in a lifetime, right, Pisces, so, you know, this connection could be fairly new and, you know, it's exciting and makes you feel very, very hopeful. Um, and this could be your true love, but right now just doesn't seem to be the best time. But it does not mean that the two of you won't reconnect um, when this person is able to be a bit more freed up. And with, you know, embrace an opportunity for love in your work prospects or for spiritual growth. I really feel like um, for some of you, not all of you, okay? But for some of you dealing with an Aries, this person feels like in order to protect themselves, they have to kind of keep you or anyone else who might be interested in them kind of at a distance because from what they lost in this other relationship, okay, in this other, in this marriage or whatever, what they lost from there is like, they don't want to lose out again, okay? Now, that's not going to be for every single one of you, but for some of you, all right? It's like, they're scared too, so they feel like they would be better off maybe focusing more of their energy on work and 
new hobbies and stuff like that, okay? Which is understandable. Um, let's see what else we have here. More on this Aries, please. More on this Aries energy, please. Right, so we have, <laughs> we have moving on, and it came out in reverse. Yeah, this person is not ready, Pisces, to move forward. We have strengthening bonds, okay? So it's like the two of you, y'all do have a connection. The true love card is here. And I feel as if this person does want to strengthen the bond that they have with you. But I also get, too, that with everything else that they've kind of been through, they want to focus on um, strengthening the that they have with the people that are closest to them as well. And perhaps for some of you, too, this person will... You know, will make more time for you in spite of what it is that they're going through. But overall, I feel like for Aries right now, it's like they're more focused on themselves. And we have reach out here. So I feel like Pisces, you know, you could be waiting for this person to reach out to you. Okay. But now you know the reasons why they really haven't been, okay? Skip. Ooh, some thoughts here. So, okay. We have, I like where this is going, and we have, why don't you love me, Pisces? I feel like this is your energy, okay? You're wondering, like, why isn't this progressing? Um... Where are we going with this? Do you even have feelings for me anyway? And this person, is, this Aries is like, I like where this is going. Why? It's going at a pace that they can deal with, okay? In terms of maybe the two of you not being as close right now, I, I feel like for them, they're okay with things kind of going at the pace that, um, that it's at right now. Like, they're content with that. Um... Get a message from your guides, Pisces. I'm dealing with this Aries. A message from your guides. So we have your beliefs are right for you. Okay. Ooh, Ooh Pisces. And we also has um, have asked for guidance. So I feel like... For some of you, you know, you need to talk to your guides about this situation, okay? Don't let, you know, this reading be the the last say in how you choose to move forward in this situation or move on from the situation temporarily, okay? How are you going to choose to believe, um... Or what are you going to choose to believe about this? Um, because I feel like with this person, you don't really know what's going on with them. Not for real, for real. You do know that they have some interest, but at the same time, you're still kind of a bit unsure. So Pisces, ask your angels for guidance, your ancestors, okay? Talk to spirit about this whole thing. Because ultimately, that's going to help you. That's going to help you um, have some peace so that you're not like in this four of swords in reverse energy or that ten of swords energy. Okay. All right. Let's get an angel answers card. Let's get an angel answer. Ooh. See, Pisces? Bam. Remain positive. Hello. I mean, you know, this really could be your true love, but they're just struggling right now. Okay, Pisces. So seek guidance, but also remain positive. Um, 
because you never know what might happen. You never know what might happen, okay? So, Pisces, thank you so much for being here for this reading. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.